Hi everyone, so today I'm here to do a review of Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. So this is a companion novel to Anna and the French Kiss which I read in March this year I think and I absolutely loved Anna and the French Kiss and I couldn't wait to get a hold of the second book and I waited quite a while to get a hold of it and I don't know why. Uh, but I'm kind of glad that I waited because I like the new covers and I'm quite glad that I'm going to have books two and three in new covers instead of just book three so I'm kind of glad that I waited for that but I wish I'd read this book sooner and been able to fall in love with these characters much earlier because they're all amazing. So this book follows our main character Lola Nolan who has a very eccentric style. Uh, she's very wild and crazy and she loves wearing costumes. Lola's a great daughter but she kind of rebels against her perfect life with the fact that she has an older rocker boyfriend. But then the Bell twins Calliope and Cricket move back in next door and Lola feels like her life is basically falling down around her. And then Cricket worms his way back into Lola's life and Lola has to deal with the fact that all her feelings for him have come rushing back and she has to decide who she wants to be. So I can't even express how much I love this book. It was so adorable and cute and I just adored every single second of it. Lola is such a fantastic character. She was so eccentric and well. She didn't care what anyone thought about her. She wore what she wanted and she worked it. She was fantastic. She was so creative and such an amazing designer. She had all these fantastic ideas and she could take something that was nothing and turn it into something fantastic. She was just a really friendly, sarcastic and brilliant character. And then we have Cricket Bell. Where do I start with Cricket Bell? He's adorable, smart, geeky, funny, and he's just such a sweetheart. He's living in the shadow of his sister Callie Oak, who is a figure skater. Um, his family have always moved around to support her, and Cricket's never made a fuss, even though his family don't really appreciate him as much as they should, uh, because Cricket is never kicked off about going where Callie Oak wants to go. So yeah, um, Cricket is not really appreciated that much by his family and I wish they'd appreciate him more because he's amazing. He spends so much time with Lola's family because they really appreciate him and they always give him stuff to do like he'll come home uh, from college and he'll help Andy and Lola out making pies and yeah Cricket is just such a sweetheart and I want a Cricket Bell. I adored Lola's family as well. Andy and Nathan were fantastic parents. They were like complete opposites though. Andy was like the calm parent and Nathan was like the one who blew everything out of proportion. But when they worked together they were such a fantastic team and they raised Lola brilliantly. I also really loved finding out about Lola's mother and seeing Lola and her mother actually develop a relationship throughout the book. I also really love that we saw Anna and Sinclair in this one because I love Anna and Sinclair like so so much. Uh, it was really nice to see that they're still as loved up as they were at the end of Anna and the French Kiss. So yeah, I really loved seeing the old characters and the new characters mix because it just made it even better. The storyline in this book was brilliant as well. I really loved finding out about Lola and Cricket's background, what happens between them the first time, um, seeing what Cricket's been doing since he's been away. Lola's relationship with her mother developing, but most of all I just really loved seeing Cricket and Lola's relationship develop. It was such a slow process considering uh, Lola was in a relationship at the start of the book, uh, but they became so close and they were great friends that it was just inevitable that they were going to end up together anyways, because they're so perfect for each other. The ending was really sweet as well and it just made me love Cricket even more. So overall this was just such a cute and adorable read. I loved every single second of it. Actually reviewing this is making me want to reread it right now uh, because I just loved it that much and I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. So that was my review for Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys later. Bye everyone.